Hello my fellow mermaids and thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of reviews on athletic wear, primarily Lulu, Nike, Adidas, those are my babes, and I haven't done anything on Nike in a while, and I'm like, mm, Kelty, what are you doing with yourself? Get it together. So that is what I'm bringing to you guys, and I had a great idea of a complete try-on of all the Nike sports bras, all we'll get to that. You can see from light support, medium support, high support, functionality, practicality, colors, all that. And I'm just gonna try them on and let you guys know if you should size up, size down, my opinions on the sport level. And so if you're like, hey, I want a Nike sports bra, I got you, I'll let you know my thoughts. But I said all, there is probably a few out there. I'm lucky to live in Edmonton, we have Western Mall, and we have this giant sport check in there, and it's amazing. I'll bring you guys to it one time. It's got the best selection, at least in I'd say Alberta, probably in a lot of Western Canada, Vancouver, and probably have somewhere that's got more and they have a Nike store and stuff like that. But it's got a great selection, so I was able to get at least their most common sports bras. Let's get to the Nike sports bras. Okay, we will be starting off with a classic from Nike, and yes, that is the name. This would be a medium sport, slight compression. It's got removable pads, reasonable price, $42, and this color. It's with that nude, mauve, that whole look. Love it. This is just a very simple sports bra. It's gonna have a bit of a higher neck so your ladies won't pop out. The band, these bands are the same as you would have in the Nike Pro shorts. They've got a little bit of padding there so you're not gonna see any nipples, but it's not so much that you feel suffocated. It's got the racer back, which is gonna evenly distribute the weight and so you're not getting pulled down on your shoulders. And honestly, this would be one of those bras I pretty much recommend everyone, especially in this color. Now what we have next is pretty much the exact same and I thought I'd show you guys a comparison. This is the same as the last one, just classic padded. Honestly, the only real difference, you'll see it's still a compression, removable pad, soft elastic band. Same price, I was a little confused until I tried it on and there's just a tiny bit more padding right there. It's so minuscule. So if you're someone who doesn't like padding, get the other one. If you're someone who likes a lot of padding, get this one. They have a little design there. The seam, the cut is the exact same. This comes in a different colors uh, in this case, but you can find them in both colors. That's the thing about these ones. They're kind of a staple in Nike. They just uh, make slight little tweaks about it and change the colors. So this was also another pretty color, a bit more girly, especially perfect for spring. And it's another just great sports bra if you're just looking for a staple for kind of all activities, very much athletic, and it's gonna hold your ladies in place. Now at first glance, this one looks very similar to the other two, the Nike Pro Indie, but it's quite different. You'll see it's got the strappy design, it does a removable pad. This one's actually on sale right now. It's typically a bit more expensive than the other ones. It does have the strappy details, as you'll see in the band. That's kind of see the biggest deal right there, but it also makes it a lot less supportive. You can kind of see how it wraps around. It's a bit more of a V-neck than a scoop neck like the other one, so it's going to be a bit more booby. The band itself is the same, very thin. There's no grip to it, it's just kind of striated, if that makes sense. It's stretchy. Sorry, I accidentally pulled it down. It's not supposed to be like that. That was just on me. It does have a very cute design in the back, and that's a cool thing. Very cute, but not as supportive as the other ones. Now next is a take on this one, but it's a bit different model. This is the Indie Soft. This is one of my favorite sports bras from Nike. I've had a few of them, and I just think they're so cute. The strappy design, adjustable pads, removable padding, reasonably priced, but this is a lot more cute than functional in the sense. Like, they always remind me of Calvin Klein-esque. Uh, bras, but I wear these for yoga, lighter activities. It's not great for my bigger bus ladies. You're going to spill out of it. It's better for my lower uh, to medium sized bus ladies. It still has some support, but not great. So I'd not use this for high impact. It's just kind of more of your casual bra, under t shirts, or for my smaller busted ladies. Now this is for a higher support, so this is for my bigger bus ladies. I want to be warned, I'm trying this on in a large, I'm medium, normally in Nike this is too big on me, but it was the only size they have. It is expensive, but it is meant for higher impact, so they have the adjustable straps, which is great, there as well. And so you'll just see there's just a lot of air. You really want this to fit like a second skin. It's not really supposed to be compression if you want these bras. That's how you don't feel suffocated. So you don't want extra air like this. If anything, you might want to size down if you like the compression feel. I just think that's not the perfect design for them. You'll see how it's around the neck right there and then the crisscross that's gonna evenly distribute the weight. So it's gonna take a lot more pressure off your chest. So that is why it is also great for my bigger cup ladies. It's meant to hug your ladies and not suffocate them. 
Now this next bra, I'm obsessed with. It doesn't look that special just there, but Zonal Sport Fierce, when you put on, is such a cool design. It is a medium support. It has the racer back in the back. It's gonna be sweat wicking. It is expensive. Oh, that is the one downside, but it is gorgeous. It does have a kind of a seamless feel to it without being super thin. You'll see that design there. I just think it looks super high performance. You could dress this up. The scoop neck, it was really comfy on. It evenly distributed the back. I love that waistband around the bottom. It's got the mesh. It is gorgeous but it is just so expensive. So if you want a seamless, supportive, cute bra, yes. If you want to spend $80 on a sports bra, uh, go for it, but yeah, not cheap. Speaking of overpriced bras, this one's overpriced in my opinion. This is a studio bra. It's a light support, so think it's meant more for your yoga classes. It's a bit more fashionable. It's $68 for a not supportive sports bra. I don't dig it. Uh, you just want to make sure it's adjusted perfectly, but you'll see later on why you've got to really play around. It's nice that it has the adjusting, and the band was pretty comfy. It wasn't super supportive. It's kind of more of a structured feel. This, if you can see, kind of stays there. You can't, it's not stretchy in any sense. It's kind of hard, and it's got a bit of the V neck. I think it's a really cute design, don't get me wrong, and it'd be great and nice to wear to a yoga class. The back is really nice, but at first I was so confused. This is flopping around. I was like, what? the heck like who would just have a whole bunch of extra body right there like it didn't make sense to me and I was very confused until I realized you have to actually pull on it once you adjust the straps to make it um, move on your back the right way it's kind of got these loopholes which is cool but like I said it's not that pretty I have a bra later on that's a lot prettier in my opinion for light support and a lot cheaper so it's it's kind of like makes a light support bra look super supportive which I'm like why make it look like it's more supportive than it is I just was not a fan of course if you really like it it's cute it's not hideous it's just there's a lot of other cute sports bras or a lot cheaper so as you can see this is what I mean where you kind of have to adjust it there and that's how you're gonna get the band to perfectly fit and it's a lot cuter when it fits properly as well so it does have a very cute back I look at that as I said I think this is overpriced for a light support bra that's not over the cute but the next one I got for you who this is cute this and it's seamless so it's for my smaller bus ladies who want a lighter support for yoga just to wear under t-shirts but want a cute bra look at that price tag $35 that is affordable it's got a strappy design zone support which I'll explain in a second and this color this is just such a pretty bra I love the waistband how it's a bit bigger there which I find very flattering on myself it has a V cut kind of but it doesn't point at the end so it's a bit more scoopy yes to my bigger bus ladies it's gonna have kind of booby and this is super stretchy like crazy stretchy <laughs> I kind of stopped it there uh, you'll see how it kind of evenly distributes there if you get it too small it's gonna cut into your shoulders for sure and there's the zone support you see it's actually like see-through but it's double mesh so you don't have to worry about your ladies poking out if that makes sense so it's breathable in that sense very comfy bra I really like this to my bigger bus ladies you could wear this under shirts maybe as a comfy bra think of it a comfy bra and not high performance at all it is not very supportive in that sense it's just more of a cozy bra for a lower impact now this is my personal favorite for high support level bra the motion adapt bra it's not cheap that typically always happens unfortunately with higher support and this one, it just, I felt very secure and not compressed. It's, this is funny, kind of, see, that's how I could describe the boob area. It's kind of just got like a compartment for it. Now for myself, there was a lot of extra material, so I would have sized down probably, but because it's stiff, you kind of want to be careful about this. This is definitely one to try on, don't just buy online. It's got a little design there, it's not mesh. It's got the breathable there. This is really cute. The band is a bit more secure. It's not stretchy. And you just want to think this is kind of just meant to like hold there. It's not compressed it's not stretchy at all it just kind of wants to hug your ladies that's the best way to describe it it's going to support them without really digging into you but you really want to try this on because this is something I think actually should be a bit more custom made just because it's so structured when things are stretchy obviously they can adapt to you but when it's structured you want to make sure it perfectly fits so don't get this online go in store to try it on now the holy grail of sports bras in my opinion this is one of my all-time favorite it's the classic swoosh sports bra it's a medium design it's minimal it's got that cliche and nike just do it or logo they have i love this blue they have right there they usually always have this they just make a few adjustments to make it better it's got a scoop neck 
it's medium support. It doesn't cut right under their boobs. It goes a little bit lower than that. And this is the perfect level of support for someone my size. It's I don't feel compressed, it's not too light. So for a B to C ladies, this is perfect. How cute is this back with the racer back and the little extra band around there? And you can see the little holes. This is my favorite bra there by far. I have so many of these. I just get them in different colors when they come out. And I always like how they change them just to make them a little bit better every few years. And this is definitely my favorite. Now, to rank them all from worst to best, we're going to start off with first, this one, just because I didn't try in the right size, probably. Yeah, overpriced. This one is nice, but I just find you have to try it on in person. This cute, overpriced but beautiful, classic. A bit too much padding for me, just the right amount of padding. So cute and affordable, and of course, my all time. And there is the try on, in my opinion, on the selection of sports bras Nike have. Some I love, some I'm like, ugh, but Nike, sponsor me, sponsor me. Hi. <laughs> uh, hopefully this can help you guys out and find a sports bra that would work great for your lifestyle, your style, your color palette, make you feel the best version of yourself so you can go to the gym and be like, I am here to work out and take on the world in my stretchy pants and sports bra and my ladies are looking good feeling good, doing you. Uh. Anyways, have a fabulous day. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe and join our mermaid tribe. We'd love to have you. If you have any of these sports bras, comment down below and let us know your opinion on them because of course we're all different, all have different bust sizes. So what might work for me might be different for you. So I'd love to hear some second opinions and help assist out. Have a fabulous day. I love y'all so much. So, so much. It's freezing though, so I won't be just working sports bras for a while. Spring come to us. Love you. Bye.